morning students last class we learned about Matilda and her husband how they had gone for the party and while coming back uh, Matilda realized that she lost her necklace which uh, which belonged to whom which belonged to her friend she borrowed it from her friend let us continue Loiser already half undressed asked what is the matter Loiser is her husband she turned towards him excitedly I have I have I no longer have Madame Forrester's necklace what did she said that uh, she was very um, upset she started crying then her husband asked her what is the matter why was she crying then she said that she lost uh, whose uh, necklace Madame Forrester's necklace he arose in dis dismay what how is it that it is not possible so her husband said that it is not possible to lose the necklace and they looked uh, in the folds of the dresses and in the folds of the clock in the pockets everywhere they could not find it they checked the dress they wore and even they checked the coat clock is the coat coat they wore no inside the pockets and everything they could not find the necklace he asked you are sure you still had it when we left the minister's house so husband asked are you sure that the necklace was there when we when they left the uh, minister's house and yes I felt it was I felt it as we came out she was very sure that it was there in her neck but if you had lost it in the street we should have heard it fall it must be in the cab then her husband was sure that they must have lost the necklace inside the cab yes it is possible did you take the number so the lady the lady asked uh, did you know the number of that cab no and you did you notice what it was no they looked at each other utterly cast down cast down means sad or tired utterly cast down finally Loisel dressed himself again her husband dressed up I am going he said over the track where we went on foot to see if I can find it he just went out in order to check on the way on the road whether uh, he could find what the necklace and she went she remained in her evening gown and not having the force to go to bed who was very upset um, the lady wife is very upset Matilda is very upset towards 7 o'clock her husband returned he had found nothing so he could not find any uh, thing he went to the police and to the cab offices and put an advertisement in the newspapers offering a reward even he had put an advertisement if you find uh, the lost necklace please contact this number all these things uh, her husband did she waited all day in the state of bewilderment bewilderment means confusion before this frightful disaster and Loisel returned in the evening his face pale he had discovered nothing Loisel came back and told his uh, wife that he could not find the necklace he said write to your friend that you have broken the claps of the necklace and that you will have to have it uh, repaired that will give us time so what did uh, the for she he, he asked her to write a letter to her friend saying that uh, the lock of the necklace is uh, um, broken so they are going to get it repaired so they will take little more time to return the necklace so the lady wife she was uh, she wrote as he dictated at the end of the week they had lost all hope at the end of the week they are very sure that they are not going to uh, get back what the necklace and Loisel older by five years declared who was older Loisel is elder to Matilda declared we must replace this jewel Loisel said that at any cost we have to buy a new necklace and give it back to uh, Madam uh, Forrester so what happened now let us see then they started counting the money see just see in a, in the, in a shop of the um, palace royal they found a chaplet of diamonds see which seemed to them exactly like the one they had lost it was valued at 40,000 francs they could get it for 36,000 so they just went to the jewelers they found the diamonds there exactly same necklace was there and they asked the uh, cost of the necklace they found that it is 40,000 francs 
they could get it for 36,000. So, at last they decided that they will get, they had a bargain with the jeweler and they said that they will get it for 36,000. Loisel possessed 18,000 francs which uh, his father had left him. Loisel had how much money in his ba at this bank? 18,000 francs that is he inherited from his father. He borrowed the rest, he made ruinous uh, promises and took money from uh, Assurus. Assurus is many money lenders and the whole race of lenders every from everywhere he had borrowed money. Then he went to get the new necklace depositing on the merchant's counter 36,000 francs. He borrowed from many people. He had taken that those 18,000 francs which had given by whom? Which was given by her? His father. And when Madame Loisel took back the jewels to Madame Forestier, the later said to her in a frigid tone, frigid means very stiff, you should have returned them to me sooner for I might have needed them. So, Forestier did not like it she, because she got it delayed. So, she asked uh, her, Loi asked uh, Loisel, you should have, she should have returned the necklace soon. Madame Forestier did not open the jewel box as Madame Loisel feared she would. So, she was very afraid. Uh, Madame uh, Loisel was very afraid that uh, in front of her, if Madame Forestier will open the necklace, the, she could uh, find out it is a new necklace. What would she think if she should perceive the substitution? What should she say? Would she take her for a robber? So, she was thinking so many questions where we can, who can ask uh, Madame Forestier can ask uh, related to the necklace. So, no answer is there in whose hands Mrs., uh, Madame Loisel. Madame Loisel now knew the horrible life of necessity. Now, they are very poor, no? She did her part, however, completely heroically. It was necessary to pay this frightful debt. She would pay it. They sent away the maid. They changed their lodgings. They rented some rooms in an attic. Attic, um, attic is a uh, very small room. Rooms in an attic rented. They rented a very small house in order to stay. Even uh, Madame Loisel was ready to work all the household works. They sent away the maid because uh, Loisel had uh, borrowed money from so many people. They have to return the money. She learned the odious work of the kitchen. It was very tiring. It is very difficult for her to do the work. She washed the dishes. She washed the uh, soiled linen, their clothes and dish clothes which she hung on line to dry. She took down the refuse to the street each morning and brought up the water. Even she has to go outside and get the water because they are changed their lodgings, their house. Stopping at each landing to catch her breath and clothe like a woman of the people. She went to the grocers, the butchers and the fruit sellers with a basket on her arm, shopping, haggling to the last of her miserable money. So, they have to earn money, they have to adjust money for that purpose. Madame Loisel did all the uh, household works, even going to the shop and purchasing things, everything she did. The husband worked evenings putting the book, uh, books of some merchants in order and nights he often did copying at 5 sous in a page and this lasted for 10 years and the end of the 10 years they had restored all. And what happened you just see the husband also evening also he started working extra work he started doing some other shops books shop she went he went and uh, uh, started working till late night he used to work because he can earn uh, extra money that uh, they had taken how many years to uh, repay all the debt 10 years just see. Madame Loisel seemed old now after 10 years because of all the sufferings they, she became very old now. She had become a strong hard woman, the crude woman of the poor household. Ella suffering him sahicha or lady I mari. She became very hard woman. Her hair badly dressed, her skirts every, her hands red. She spoke in a loud tone and watched the floats with the large pails of water. But sometimes when her husband was at the office, she would seat uh, herself before the window. Think of that evening party of former times of that ball where she was so beautiful and so flattered. She was so depressed, isn't it? She has to clean every home and everything. Her hands become very red. She used to speak very loudly. 
because very depressed and she watched all the clothes and everything but at times when her husband used to go to the office what she used to do she used to sit at home alone and she used to recollect that party and she used to recollect the beauty of herself she used to praise and how would it have been if she had not lost the necklace now she started thinking if she had not lost the necklace how it would have been who knows how singular is life and how full of changes and how small a thing will ruin or save one one small incident can ruin your life who started thinking <coughs> loisel started thinking sorry one sunday as she was ta- ta- taking a walk in the champs elsies to the, rid herself of the cares of the week she suddenly perceived a woman walking with a child it was madam forestier one day she just went outside for a walk he had seen madam forestier she was very young still young still pretty and still attractive because madam forestier didn't have any sufferings madam loisel was affected should she speak to her yes certainly and now that she had paid she would tell her all why not now madam loisel decided that she returned a new necklace so it is better to disclose madam forester about everything she approached her good morning jean her friend did not recognize her and was astonished to be so familiarly dressed by this common person she stammered but madam i do not know you you must be mistaken that much of change had taken place who placed this madam loiser that is why madam forester did not recognize her friend she said that i don't know you who are you no i am matilda loiser now she introduced herself her friend uttered a cry of astonishment oh my poor matilda how you have changed so she was shocked to see matilda in such a pathetic condition <coughs> she asked her how much change you had gone through yes i have had some hard days since i saw you excuse me <coughs> and some miserable ones and all because of you she said that it is because of you uh, changes had taken place because of me how is that you recall the diamond necklace that you loaned me to wear to the minister's ball <coughs> <coughs> yes very well well i lost it now she is disclosing the story she said that the necklace you had given me to wear for the party was lost how he said since you returned it to me then she asked how can it be you returned the necklace i returned another to you exactly like it and it has taken us 10 years to pay for it so the lady uh, said that i have had taken 10 years to repay the uh, debt you can understand that it was not easy for us who have nothing but it is finished and i am decently content now i am satisfied because i had repaid you everything madam forester stopped short she said you say that you bought a diamond necklace to replace mine so madam forester is clear, clarifying it so you said that you are you purchased a original diamond necklace to return to me yes you did not perceive it then you did not see it then she asked examined it then they are just like adella rendu necklaces oru poleyana and she smiled with proud and simple joy madam forester was touched and took both her hands and she replied madam forester na bhayangara vesham thoni odi vanna metalde de kai ingine pidichu oh my poor metalda mine were falls ende njan nenak idan thanna necklace artificial ayirunu adu pure diamond onnum allayirunu they were not worth over 500 francs adinde vela etra ayirunu verum 500 francs ayirunu nee adine pudhiya diamond necklace enike replace cheydu and they they lost how many um, year years hardship they had undergone 10 years and only for how much the, what was the price of that necklace it was only for 500 francs and they paid 36000 francs in order to replace that necklace
ഒറിജിനൽ ഡയമണ്ട് അല്ലാതെ ആർട്ടിഫിഷ്യൽ ഡയമണ്ടിൻ്റെ നെക്ലസ് ആയിരുന്നു ആര് കൊടുത്തിരുന്നത് മാഡം ഫോറസ്റ്റിയർ ആർക്ക് വേണ്ടി കൊടുത്തിരുന്നത് മെറ്റൽ ഡേക്ക് ഒരു ദിവസം ഇടാൻ കൊടുത്തത് പക്ഷെ മെറ്റൽ ഡേയും ഹസ്ബൻഡും അത് റിയലൈസ് ചെയ്യാതെ അത് ലോസ് ആയപ്പോൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്തു അവർ പ്യുവർ ഡയമണ്ട് നെക്ലസ് ആണ് അവർക്ക് മേടിച്ചു കൊടുത്തത് അന്ന് കളഞ്ഞ ദിവസം തന്നെ അവർ ക്ലാരിഫൈ ചെയ്തിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ ദേ ഷുഡ് ഹവ് ദേ ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് ലോസ് ബോസ് ടെൻ ഇയേഴ്സ് സഫറിങ്സ് ദേ ഹാഡ് അണ്ടർ ഗോൺ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ഇഫ് യു ഹാവ് എനി ഡൗട്ട് യു ക്യാൻ കോൺടാക്ട്